Okay, guys, we're going to do multi-class image classification from Kaggle with this data set. Okay, so you import it, and then you, you do train for file one. File two can be tester validation. They both got the same amount of pictures. But you're going to use, uh, if you use the test for uh, the validation set, you can use the valid set for testing pictures. For the predictions. Okay. So, file one, multi categorical, batch size 24. Remember, there's 900 images of three classes, categorical. Horizontal flip equals true, basic data augmentation. And then, right here, for your test set, remember file two from earlier? Horizontal flip equals true, bat size 9, target size, same as here, 384, 384. If you guys want to change your own, remember you got to change the input shape as well. Class mode categorical, 300 images of three classes. Okay, remember, dense 3, because it's three classes, input shape 384, 128, 64, 32, 16, and eight now the strides are going to be all twos up above and then you're going to go threes and threes down till 16 this time and then dense three softmax because it's multi-categorical atom or you can do sgd and then categorical cross entropy and categorical accuracy there's your CNN summary. And here's how the model did. I only ran it at 20 epochs, but if you guys want to perfect it even more, you guys can run it at uh, 22 epochs to 25. Here's how it did. Here's the validation loss, training loss, training accuracy, validation accuracy. And, like I told you, zero, remember, is early blight, right? So the image size from the input shape, 384. We're reading the file, reshaping the arrays, and we're just going to show it. That's early blight. Predict, prepare, zero. Yep. And same thing there. This one is late blight. Look how diseased that thing is. It's going to spit out a class label of... Remember? MP argmax y compute 1. And here we go, our healthy one. Okay, which is Z. There's your healthy one going to spit out C equals MP argmax Z, print C, 2. Healthy. You can save your model and do whatever you want with it also. It's always good to save models, but be sure to download it. I recommend Google Colab because uh, TensorFlow and everything is pre-installed. I prefer it over Jupyter and all the others. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned from this video. Thank you. Next time we're going to deploy on SageMaker. I need to get back on the cloud. Thank you.